Today, older adults are online more than ever before. In this video, we'll discuss how to effectively conduct user testing with older adults. If older adults make up a large part of your target audience, then learning about their thoughts, feelings, and behaviors through usability testing will give you the insights that you need to improve your product for your user. Even if your product is geared towards a more general audience, including older adults in your usability tests will help you to accommodate a growing number of older adults online and also help you to improve your product's accessibility. Let's talk about how we can do this effectively starting at the beginning of the process. First, make sure you are considering the unique needs of these participants. Older adults might face challenges like visual or hearing impairments, reduced motor skills, and cognitive changes. Because of this, they may require assistive technologies like screen readers or screen magnifiers, key guards, head wands, or voice recognition software. These impairments can affect their participation during the session and their ability to interact with your product overall. So using your recruitment screener to gather information about your participants' age, experience using technology, and the types of devices that they may need can help you to prepare to accommodate their needs during their session. Next, when planning for usability sessions, choose a testing location that's easy for your participants to access and be ready to make adjustments. If your session is in person, consider meeting the participant at their home or a location close to their home. Also make sure that your technical setup is flexible and works with the assistive technologies that your participants will need. It's best if you conduct the session in person, but if that's not possible, be sure to provide the participant with detailed instructions for how to join a virtual session. It's also important to take some time to think about your approach and mindset beforehand. Aging affects everybody differently, so be aware of any unconscious biases that you might have about older adults, and try not to make any assumptions about your participants. Now, during the session, you can do a few things to ensure the session goes smoothly. When it comes to tasks, if you're conducting the sessions in person, make sure they're realistic and relevant to your participants' experience with technology. Test activities can also take a while to complete, so you should provide the participant with a written copy of each task that they can use to jog their memory if they need to. For virtual sessions, you can send the task via the virtual chat feature to help them. Remember to encourage the participant to go at their own pace and remind them that they're not being tested. Doing so builds trust with your participants. A relaxed participant is much more likely to provide genuine feedback. To summarize, conducting usability tests with older adults is not just about adapting to their physical needs, but also about respecting and understanding their unique experiences. But doing so requires special planning and consideration. Ultimately, the insight and perspective that you gather will help you and your team discover ways to improve your product. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, enengroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our UX courses that offer live, hands-on UX training.